you touch your steak, you're going to ruin it and you're not going to achieve that crust. So literally let it sit. My name is Anthony Vitolo. I'm the executive chef at Emilio's Bellato in New York City. Everyone has this thing in their mind that if you sear a steak on a stainless steel, it's gonna stick. But if the pan heats up to the right temperature, it's automatically going to release the steak and it's gonna be have the beautiful crust that you always wanted. All right, so here we have two shell steaks. I'm just gonna season them simply with salt and pepper. Same thing on both sides, salt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on medium to high heat. So with the stainless steel pan, I like doing the brown butter method, which is just putting brown butter in the pan, putting butter in the pan until it heats up. See how the butter's turning brown here? So all that flavor is gonna go into that steak. Nice and brown. So now I'm gonna add my steak to this pan because it's ready, so. Don't touch the steak, let the steak create that outer layer that you want, that really crunchy, salty, peppery flavor. You want that crust on the steak, do not touch your steak. If you touch your steak, you're going to ruin it and you're not going to achieve that crust. So literally let it sit. Once you see a nice crisp outer layer on the outside of the steak, look at this. Look at that. That's what you want right there. Now flip it and do the same thing. Now what I like doing here is I like taking the flavor of the butter and cooking through the steak. You keep taking the butter and feeding it into the steak. Really cook those juices on the inside. Now this steak is ready. Feel it nice. You want a little give back. You don't want it too hard, it's well done. You want to press it, you want to press the steak and really feel the steak that it gives back a little bit. You don't want it too hard. That steak's done. For people that aren't used to doing it in a stainless steel pan, I can see why it would be a little difficult for them. It's just trial and error. You have to learn how to correctly cook a steak in a stainless steel pan. 